In today's fast-paced world, developing 21st century skills are crucial for success in various aspects of life. But the question is, how? The answer to this complex question is quite straightforward. Playing sports is a great way to do this without even realizing it, because it provides hands-on experience in learning. This is the second video in the five video series demonstrating fun sports activities that can help you improve important skills such as problem solving, careful thinking, communication and leadership. Every video is focused on one sport and related skills. In this video, we are going to learn about how an activity like follow the leader can help us learn the creativity and innovation. The video will cover everything about the activity, how to set it up, how to play, what happens next and a discussion at the end to understand how it went. Let's see. The purpose of this activity is to teach the participants that how an activity like follow the leader can help them learn how to incorporate creativity and innovation into their daily lives. This game can be played in an outdoor space. You will need 50 by 30 feet space for the game. Time required for this activity is 45 minutes. You will also need 10 to 12 flat cones and minimum 5 players to start the game. The facilitator makes a circle on the playground using flat cones. The circle's size will depend on how many people are taking part. The facilitator stands in the middle of the circle where everyone can see him or her. The participants stand around the circle facing the facilitator. The facilitator begins the game as the leader. The person leading the activity shows how to do a certain position and gives it a name. The participants copy the position demonstrated by the facilitator. The leader counts loudly to five and everyone tries to stay in the position until the counting is done. Here are some ideas for balancing positions. Stand on one foot, either right or left. Sit on the ground with your hands behind your back and lift your feet off the floor. Squat down with your hands stretched out. Once the participants have understood the game, the facilitator should choose one of them to be the leader. Each leader should be given three to five chances to select positions before replacing them with another participant. Encourage participants to use their creativity in inventing new balance positions. The facilitator can make it more challenging by asking participants to close their eyes while doing the positions. Participants can be assigned with the responsibility to choose the next leader. The current leader in the group selects the person who is doing the balance position the best and that chosen participant becomes the new leader. After the game, it's important to talk about what happened. This discussion helps us think about our strategies, how each person and the team performed. It's a really important tool to get better over time, learn more and improve how we play in the future. After the activity is done, the facilitator gathers everyone and leads a reflection session where everyone can share their thoughts. The facilitator wants everyone to say what they think. To make them comfortable, some easy and guiding questions can be asked like, how did you feel when you were leading the game? How did you think of the different balancing poses? Did you show them clearly? How did you use your imagination to come up with positions for the whole group? Do you think you chose the right person with the best position in the group? Why do you think they did the best? How can you use creativity and innovation in your daily life? Give us some examples. Being creative and innovative helps children and youth develop their thinking skills. It encourages them to think differently, question assumptions, solve problems and make decisions.